Alrighty, we back once again. Again, riding to work. I said I'd just make a quick little, uh, quick little video, ramble a little bit. You know, just kind of enjoy the weather. Get back into the groove. I said I'm, I've been having a little bit of trouble with the, this whole video setup. Again, it's like bike trouble and then um because uh, the transmission went so i've got all that sorted out the bike's 100 percent perfect ready to go um rides great everything works except for the radio ain't perfect but i'll fix that when i get to it it's good enough for now um yeah there's a hole right up here that'll they'll mess your whole day up you hit it right there big old giant bump in the asphalt I need to come back with some marking paint and paint that so that uh, everybody sees it, but I'm lazy. I just haven't gotten around to it. Got too much stuff to do. Might, might do it tonight. Come back out and paint it once uh, I get home from work. I almost got wrecked earlier when I didn't see it. I missed it, but you hit that, it'll be a bad day real bad day especially if you don't see it but uh, anyway so yeah um, that's like I had a problem with the uh, the GoPro mount I got a chin mount and um, the adhesive uh, basically it just kind of I guess it got old and failed and then um, I was even uh, the camera I went go-kart and the camera fell off after like half a lap so uh, I didn't get any good footage from that which was disappointing but you know it is what it is um, yeah I mean so it's like I haven't really had the camera mounted like the last week and a half two weeks so I got uh, I emailed uh, the chin mounts and uh, they got back to me real quick sent me some a whole bunch of uh, brand new 3M heavy adhesive tape didn't charge me anything so uh, real good people good company they make a good product like I said I put it up there I just this time I used the clamp and uh, put a clamp on the helmet to make sure it stayed the good pressure on it the whole time and uh, yeah that's pretty much it and yeah so we'll see how this goes like I said I got they sent me a ton of extra adhesive so even if it fails again I'll be set for a long time I could replace it at least probably five, six, seven, maybe eight more times if I need to. So I really appreciate that from them, you know. They, uh, this is the second chin mount I've had on a different helmet and I've been pretty impressed with it. As I said, it puts it in a good point of view, you know, it's not bad. I've been uh, been happy with their company. I get emails from them all the time. I'm on their email list. And I was like, let me just reply to one and uh, ask them. And yeah, they got right back to me. You know, at least by the next day or whatever. Which is generally what you'd expect from email. And uh, yeah, I'm just really, really happy with them because. Uh, you know, a lot of these companies are just like some sketchy drop ship company. They make a cheap product, but not uh, the chin mounts are, they're like 3D printed and uh, they're custom fit. Like they fit perfect. I haven't had an issue with them. Uh, I've just been pretty happy with it. And, you know, the first problem I had, they fixed it. No questions asked. So, uh, yeah, definitely give them a big shout out uh, for putting out a good quality product and standing behind it. You know just goes to show you you just you know you, you just be polite and ask and you know I just want to know if they made like an updated version I was gonna buy it again you know, instead they just sent me new tape and didn't charge me so you know I said I'm pretty happy with that I was I enjoyed it enough I was gonna buy it again <coughs> if I had to so like I said I mean just a really nice thing them to do and you know I haven't had a lot of luck lately so it just felt really good to be blessed like that yeah this goes to show you be nice
nice, polite to people. And every once in a while, something will go your way, and then you, know, you just feel good about it. Yeah, as I went catfish last night, didn't catch nothing, but uh, I had a decent time on the boat. You know, all that good stuff. Need to get me a fishing mount for uh, the GoPro and stuff. That might be the next thing to do. And I need—I gotta buy me some uh, new hard drives for my computer to store the videos, cause uh, I'm basically out of storage on my computer. Like I got to delete stuff. Like I'll, I'll load the file, create an edit, which makes a smaller file. You know, and the, cause I shoot. Um, I am shooting 1080, I think 120 frames a second, so it'll look real smooth. And then I'll chop it down and edit it to 60 frames in the software. That was just so it don't take up as much space and it don't take as long to upload because it takes forever to upload stuff to YouTube. Like, I mean, it is ridiculous. Especially since I got 20 megabits upload speed, I'm not getting anything done. And even then, YouTube doesn't have a, uh, a very fast upload process either, so... You know, it's just kind of one of those things you just bite the bullet. I like all the, uh, the fun cars out today. There's a C8 Corvette. We got a little Corvette, a little in the auto over here. They were deep out last weekend. I see three state troopers over at the uh, over by the boat ramp at the quarter store earlier today. You know they're just out and about. You know this ain't the time to be acting foolish. As much as I would like to, this ain't it. I'm just straight chilling, chilling. Yep, see. Pretty sure that's one too. Yep, bingo. Like I said, there's a time and a place to cut up. It ain't today. Much less right here. Uh, they got a lot of stop traffic up here. I might just cut through the back way because I didn't want to make that left hand turn and sit out there. bumpy road so this is it y'all y'all have a good one peace